Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks and Adventures. Today we are going to do another little piece of CNC. It'll be another little piece of home decor. Before we get rolling with that, I'm going to throw this out there. A week from today, we I am going to do a live stream. I got to talking to one of the other guys. Uh, Y'all may have heard of him. Daniel over at Arms Family Homestead. I worked with Daniel for the 14 years he worked on the patrol. <laughs> But we got to talking, and we got to talking about doing live streams. And we were going back and forth about it, and he, he asked how many I'd done. Well, in two and a half, three years of doing this, I've done one live stream. He expressed to me the importance of it, that it allows people to ask real-time questions, and I can sit right there and answer them. So a week from today, next Sunday, I'm going to do a live stream at 6 o'clock. I'm going to shoot for 6 o'clock Sunday. So, that's that. That's that announcement. Because I really I really wanted to get that out here because I don't mind doing the live stream stuff. I do enjoy interacting with the people with people and talking to them. I almost said the people like I'm something up here. But <laughs> I don't mind interacting with people just to get their take on things, see what they're thinking, see how what the direction they want the channel to take. Because one tr direction I am trying to steer this channel to is more towards that adventure area. And I may in the end actually change the channel name. It'll probably still be called Smoky something, but I kind of want it to encompass traveling, kind of whatever I'm doing that day. That way I could do three or four videos a week. The way it is right now, I can do Roughly one. I could do two, but I'm, I'm telling you, back when I was doing two a day, I was humped up. I was slinging wood like there was no tomorrow, and this was all I was doing for about four days of the week. Well, I just can't do that. I mean, I've almost, honestly, I, one day, taking one to two days a week to do this is awesome, and if I had that freedom to video other stuff, do whatever else we were doing or whatever we want to video, I could do two, three videos a week. I would love to. Anyway, back to the other little point in hand. We're going to CNC today. I'm going to do a little piece of home decor. You saw the one last week where I screwed up and forgot to turn the camera on for the sanding. Happens. This week, this little piece of decor, I'm hoping to run through the planer. We'll see what happens on that. Uh, you saw the hummingbird one where it worked out great. I'm hoping to have another little repeat of that outcome simply because I'd love to go do that plane. And man, that was awesome. We'll see. So anyway, we're going to do a little piece of home decor today. So let's go.
Okay, well, worked. Uh, I don't know the difference in the half inch and the quarter inch. Worked, cleaned it up. Two big problems here. You saw me doing all the airbrushing. I had purple down here, light purple in the middle, and a darker blue up top. Can you see the difference? I cannot. So clearly, if I'm going to do the fading color, I've got to do more contrast. The purple to light purple to blue did not work. Uh, to me, it all still looks the same. I can tell one leg is darker than the rest. The rest of it, I really can't. Learning curves. I mean, you know, that's just part of it. Okay, so you saw me run it through the planer. Worked great. Took the wood off wonderfully. However, I fear this little part right here used to come down a little farther. And so basically it took just a touch of detail out of my, out of my uh, project. That one's not fixable. I mean, that's, that's done, guys. So if you're going to run it through the planer, just be careful not to go too deep. I really didn't think I was going too deep. It didn't feel like I did any more than I did on the one with the hummingbird that worked wonderfully. And I'm not going to rule this out. I'll probably try it again. I'll just have to make sure when I'm doing the CNC and the engravings, it goes deeper so I don't have to worry about taking that layer of wood off. Okay, so don't forget, 6 o'clock next Sunday, one week from today, I will do a live stream. And I'm not going to tell you how long it's going to last. It may last... Nobody shows up 10 minutes. If I get a handful of people that want to sit there and talk, I'll talk for an hour, hour and a half, whatever. Uh, just answering questions and seeing what's going on. Like I said, see what direction y'all want to see the channel take. Uh, things you might want to see me doing out here that I'm not doing. Uh, I, and before we get off into that, <laughs> I know a big question is going to be 3D. <laughs> so I'll do a little bit of 3D, but man, that got... Guys, that stuff takes three and four hours of time, and that one's, oof, that one's rough. But anyway, we're going to do a live stream, and that'll be 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. And so just kind of adjust one way or the other for wherever you're at. I'll be on there, and y'all can shoot your questions. I'll answer them real time, and we'll just have a chat. Looking forward to it. As I've mentioned on the last video, we are trying to sell our place. We're just trying to zip out of here, downsize, so we can do more travel. Uh, that happens. I'll jump that hurdle when we get there, and we'll talk about some of the things that's going to cause for the channel. Uh, it'll cause just a little delay in woodwork. Maybe not on videos. I mean, you'll get to see. That's why I want to change the channel a bit, so you can see the whole process. You can see where we're going and where we're going to end up, what the place is going to look like. There's just much more I could do with this channel that I'd enjoy to do, so. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.